atomic boxes. Jesus Christ, Russian YouTubers. I, is it even possible to mess up more than this? Well, I guess digital blackface is not digital any longer. Hello Blazers, no fuckers there, how guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. Back again today, guys, with a brand new uh, news about Russian YouTube that I like. Uh, four days too late but you guys don't care because i'm a genius and you guys actually don't speak russian and you don't know anything but on the real guys i'm really sorry for not uploading for like five days uh, and it's it's a really big break for me i don't usually do like this but and you know the truth is my university has just been absolutely fucking me in the ass lately okay and i'm not exaggerating i got a lot of things to do but today i finally got a video topic to talk about with you guys and it's a very interesting one once again because today we uh, are looking at an example of a controversy which involves uh some Russians, some uh, some Americans, and a racial issue, and we can see what is the difference between the American and Russian culture really is, and uh, how retarded Russian YouTubers really are. <laughs> Long story short, there's this girl on YouTube, her name is Sasha Katz. I mean, I don't really have anything to say about her channel, it's just, you know, one of those uh, generic uh, beauty bloggers sort of stuff, you know, Zoella-esque shit. Uh, the only difference being is that she doesn't scam her subscribers by doing terrible calendars. <laughs> However, she she has fucked up on another level because she has uh, sparked up a little bit of a international debate and international controversy and is uh, being called a racist by the entirety of America and the entirety of Europe at this point. This is actually the first time ever I've seen a Russian YouTuber get called out for something by Western people and people from the Western YouTube audience, which was pretty fucking interesting. Right, so long story short, what happened is that Sasha Katz, uh, the genius, who, uh, you know, probably has no idea about American culture whatsoever and what people think of things like this in American culture. She's uh, done a, uh, a new makeup tutorial, uh, which looks like this. <laughs> Yeah guys, it's literally blackface. It's not digital blackface, it's real blackface. It really pains me, okay? I'm the guy, you know guys, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, right? I don't give a fuck about blackface. Like, first of all, uh, we're gonna discuss this, but I'm from Russia. Russia has never had any racism against black people, no slavery and stuff like that. In fact, Russian people were enslaved by other Russian people for like half of this fucking history. And I can say for sure that my suka blat ancestors did not come from the noble ranks, okay? So I was the field nigga, I was picking cotton, okay? So don't you say shit to me. <laughs> so yeah, long story short, uh, Sasha Katz, the beauty blogger, made a tutorial on how to do blackface. And, uh, you know, really, really funny, really, really interesting. And it started out a lot, a lot of debate on the internet. Now, unfortunately, the original, uh, you know, post on Instagram from Sasha Cat has been deleted at this point, but there was a lot of juicy comments called telling her to die, uh, and you KKK Nazi scum. And you guys need to understand, Russian YouTubers, there are uh, some of them, I'm not saying all Russian YouTubers, because there are a lot of Russian YouTubers I quite enjoy watching, but some of Russian YouTubers, clearly, clearly not, clearly not, you know, very bright in the head. For example, like, like a year ago, another famous Russian beauty blogger, Maria Wei, also has done a uh, blackface tutorial, but for some reason, that time nobody gave a fat shit. But this time, the social justice warriors on Twitter are very mad, just to say the least. Why are Russians so fucking wild? Like, there's this Russian girl on IG unapologetically doing blackface, now this. Y'all need to stop, OMG, HG... <laughs> that one Russian girl who fucking did blackface and put on a curly blonde wig, I'm fucking mad. Then gonna say they ain't did nothing wrong, bitch. <laughs> On today's episode of Everybody Wanna Be a Nigga Until It's Time To Be a Nigga, we have this Russian atrocity. Stop with the blackface, I don't give a fuck what country you're from, I'ma WHOOP YOUR ASS! First, the Russians interfered with our elections, and now they're doing blackface. Where do we file a complaint? The Russian embassy or Trump? Yeah guys, I'm, I'm really really sorry about my the people of my country being so bad. I was the Russian hacker who made Trump become the president, then... I made every single person do the blackface. What's up with these Russian people putting on blackface? Is this commonplace over there? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Every time I walk on the street, that's just a new fashion trend, you know? I just walk on the street, 
every other girl is wearing fucking blackface. Like it's like it's nothing. You know, it's just chill, my nigga. It's just it's just what we do. It's just what we do over here. <laughs> right. So basically, what happened then is that people started defending this girl in Russia. Yo, vinili v rasizmi za to, što ona nakrasilas kak afroamerikanka. Hey, sučka, to rasizm. Pisali Sasha kad v Instagrami ljudi, koji vidima hrašenka pojehali krši. Djevojčka naobrot htjela pokazati, što je to zdorovo. Ona sama bila bi ni protiv biti drugoj rasa, a jo za to zakidali kamnjami. Analitika od Koli Sobaleva. The thing is, guys, I have to explain this. In Russia, blackface and uh, such concepts as white privilege or black privilege. <laughs> I don't know if that exists, to be fair. Such concepts just don't exist because, like, I'm gonna be fair, okay? In my city, Chelyabinsk, it's a city with over a million people. I see a black guy on the street, like, once every fucking blue moon. And I'm not exaggerating right now. There, there, there's none. Russia has never had Afro-American slaves like you guys did out there in America, United States. And overall, even saying the N-word in Russian is not looked down upon in media or anywhere. Literally, the word NEGR in Russian means black person. Of course, there is a coinage from Afro-American, this concept that was created in America, but most Russians, when referring to a black person, they're just gonna say NEGR, because it's not a racial slur, it's just the word that means black. So people started defending this girl and saying how she's not racist and she didn't mean anything by it, and, and first of all, yes, I agree. I agree that she probably did not mean anything about it. She was like, oh, I'm just gonna paint my face black and I'm gonna look like a, you know, a slain a sassy, sexy black girl, and everybody's gonna love it. It's pretty clear that all these Russian beauty bloggers who have done uh, blackface before, they have no fucking clue that it's offensive and it has a history of racism in America with all those movies that use blackface to make fun of black people and be racist. So you cannot really say that she was doing this intentionally and she was trying to be racist. However, we can still uh, mention how uh, this bitch is ignorant as fuck. Like, look, I cannot demand from every Russian person to know what blackface is. I know what blackface is, obviously, because I spend so much time on the English side of the internet and I've just, I just know so much about the American and and European culture at this point that blackface is like second nature to me. It's like, I mean, I'll still say the word nigger from time to time because fuck you, but I would never do blackface. What am I fucking retarded? So the only thing we can really blame this girl for is that she's so ignorant of American culture that she has no fucking clue that blackface is racist. And it really sucks because Russians nowadays, they perceive a lot of the American culture. You want to use American uh, gadgets, you want to listen to American music, you want to watch American movies. But you don't know what a bold blackface says. What are you, fucking stupid? And a lot of people are defending her and saying how she's not racist. And, you know, she didn't even apologize. Why are you on Instagram and in other social media? It was originally meant for the Russian audience. The Russian audience is very good, very good. Everyone liked it, everyone was happy. The problem can be made from anything you want. Like, if I was her, okay, I would at least make like an apology saying, Okay, I'm sorry all you triggered blacks in America. Who are not even my target audience, which, so I don't give a shit about them. But anyways, I'm sorry. I did not. Well, I did not know what blackface was. Okay, I did not intend anything bad. But she didn't even care enough to fucking respond. What is this shit? So yeah, this whole situation is just really interesting to me because it shows uh, how uh, different things are related to race and racial issues in different countries. Because in Russia, nobody gives a shit. That is just the truth, guys. And I'm not saying it's good, because this should only give an example to other people. I, I really hope that no other retarded Russian beauty blogger is going to make a fucking blackface tutorial after this one, because this may teach her a lesson. I think this is actually a positive event for the education of the Russian people. We can learn from this. Some Russian guy or girl who has no clue what the fuck blackface is can just watch this situation and be like, hmm, she painted her, fla she painted her face as a black girl, and everybody's saying she's racist and needs to kill herself. Hmm, maybe that's not okay to do, is it? Is it? Probably not. We could actually use this situation for uh, Russian youth out there, uh, the Gopniks out there, to learn that, that painting your face black and uh, saying the word nega as much as no fuckers does is not, is not really good. <laughs> so yeah, once again, guys, another incredible example of how different Russian and American cultures are and how uh, easily triggered uh, I I Americans are and how it's honestly ignorant from both parts because people who uh, say that she's racist, they ignore the parts that in Russia nobody gives a fuck about what blackface is and it has no racial uh, controversial history in Russia. And she did this purely to her Russian audience. It just somehow blew up and got 
onto the western side of the internet, which she wasn't supposed to do. And at the same time, the girl herself and other people who have done blackface, the Russians who had done blackface before, they're fucking dumb and ignorant themselves because they do not give a shit so much about racial history and, and just how race relations are perceived in Western media and uh, in the Western world that they would do shit like this and then provoke a reaction. Both sides just suck dick, to be fair. Just just both of them suck dick, Americans and Russians. F fuck everybody. <laughs> hey guys, I guess that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like on it. Make sure to put down in the comments what are your thoughts. Um, and uh, make sure to send me pictures of your... Uh, greatest blackface cosplays on Instagram. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't do it, but uh, you, you can give it a follow. Hey guys, seriously though, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.